Hi everybody, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Today is Makeover Monday! I have been meaning to get back to my Makeover Mondays for a while now. In fact, a couple months ago, Barb Hopper sent me uh, this awesome card uh, using the birthday delivery stamp set and the coordinating birthday memories designer paper and she just said help me I'm stuck she wasn't sure what to do with the card what to change with it and so today I'm going to give this card a little makeover and uh, make a few changes that I think um, will help get Barb unstuck and help um, finish up the card so thank you for joining me today um, at the end of the video I'm gonna give you my address and if you would like me to make over one of your cards um, I would be happy to do so and you'll get a little prize um, in the process so um, let's go ahead and get started this is the suite that we're working with today this is from the annual catalog Barb you're watching yay <laughs> All right, so we have the birthday delivery stamp set and birthday memories designer paper. This is in the annual catalog, and there's framelets too that coordinate with this set, and it's all retiring. I am just in shock because this was brand new, this catalog, but all of it is going away. So if you want any of this stuff, make sure that you get it before um, before May 31st when it's gone. So um, Barb used um, some of the cardstock here. She used the piece with the cake. Um, so I wanted to stick with the same paper. So I brought all the papers here to show you. This comes in 12 by 12, but I've cut it down to six by six just so that I can um, work with it and show it all on camera. So we've got the um, the cakes and then there's um, all the papers are double sided. So we have so many different patterns to choose from. And I looked at all of these and decided that one of the changes I wanted to make to this card was to have more of a, a subtle or more of a background paper here and then make one of the cakes a focal point. So I used the, um, the coordinating framelits, the birthday friends framelits, to cut out um, just one cake. So this framelit only coordinates with this cake, but you can hand cut the other ones. So I've got my frame or my cake all cut out, um, but I want a more subtle, like I said, more of a subtle background here. So um, I was looking at all the paper and trying to decide um, what I liked best for the cake to stand out on. And I decided for my card that I was going to go with this one. So it's not terribly subtle because it's dark red, right? But, um, but the cake really definitely pops on this paper. So this is what I'm going to use for my background piece, like Barb did up here. And then I've got my cake, which I die cutted. So by, by changing this busy background to create a, a more focal point with the die cut, I think that will kind of help draw your eye to the single cake. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to change um, that Barb did on her card, I love that she has this fun opening. So she cut off the bottom of the card front so that um, the greeting shows through from the inside. And I really loved that idea. Um, but I, I think the greeting is maybe too big. Um, it looks like she almost cut it in half, maybe a little bit longer than half, but I want to make my cardstock go a little bit longer and come down here so that there's room for a greeting. And we have several different greetings in the birthday delivery stamp set. Um, so lots of different sizes. I thought about this special delivery. It's your birthday stamp and that would that would work. It is um, smaller than the happy birthday here. Um, but I decided on, which one did I decide to use? Oh, birthday greetings. So I love the size of this. It's not too big um, and it's gonna fit perfectly in that space. So um, for my card base, I'm using a piece of real red cardstock. This is four and a quarter by um, 11 inches. So if I, if you took the cardstock and cut it in half lengthwise, you get uh, a regular card like this that opens at the bottom. And I'm going to cut off, let's see, I want to do the other way around. I'm going to put my score line at three and three quarters inch. And so I'm cutting off about one and three quarter inch. So a little bit less than two inches. And that creates a smaller um, area for my greeting and it, it kind of gives more emphasis on the top part 
And then for my designer paper piece, I'm gonna cut this to um, four inches across, and then I cut it down to three and a half inches. Okay, let me put that aside. I'm gonna move my paper cutter. So we have four inches by three and a half inches. We're gonna glue that down with some snails. And we have the cake. That's gonna go on dimensionals to make that pop up a little bit. So I'm gonna use three dimensionals there. One, two, three. And now our cake really pops and kind of stands out. Okay, so this is, so far we've got that going on. Uh, we need a piece for the inside. So this is four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm going to glue it down on the inside of the card. Oh, Barb said she started off as a Dutch door card. So for a Dutch door card, that would have like another piece of cardstock that would open like this, and there would be another piece like that. So um, you could still do a smaller Dutch door here and incorporate some other designer paper. Um, Okay, so we've got our card. We're gonna use the birthday greetings. Um, you know what? I'm gonna move this up just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm using the Dapper Denim ink pad, and this is also retiring, so if you love Dapper Denim, Make sure to get some of that. Um, okay, then I've got a little piece of Dapper Denim cardstock. Because when I use um, a color, I like to try to use it more than once in a card. So I used Dapper Denim here because it was Dapper Denim in the cake, but I want to incorporate the color one more time. So I'm going to add a little strip of cardstock there to the card. Okay, so we're coming along here, but I feel like I want to incorporate the red again. So I'm using some of the um, enamel shapes. This is from the Brights collection, and I'm just going to add a little, little star to bring some of the red color down here. Um, and I'm almost done with my card, but I, I almost wish that I'd used a longer greeting here. So I decided to take the, um, the balloon string. So this is from this stamp set. Here. It goes with the balloon, but I'm going to use it without the balloon and it has like a little line and then a longer line And so I'm going to ink it up. So I'm only inking The longer line and I just want to kind of draw that greeting to the other side of the card So I'm just going to use it to kind of pull it over and kind of create some some movement with my card And I think that's it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? <laughs> so to summarize some of the changes I made, I made the flap a little longer. I changed the paper. Instead of using the busy one, I used one that was more of a monotone so that the, the cake that was die cut would stick out. And then I incorporated some of the colors down here in the greeting. So instead of using gray like uh, Barb did, I used the dapper denim from the cake. I pulled down the red to add a little embellishment down here. And then on my finished card, I added another greeting. Let's celebrate your day with a hat up there. So that's my makeover for today. 